Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I want to give you my personal review on episode 8 of Be My Favorite. I already did my review on episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. We left off with P. Sang singing his heart out to Bodkowi. So now Bodkowi kisses P. Sang in the future. Remember, Bodkowi kissed the past P. Sang, but the only future kiss we got was when P. Sang kissed Bodkowi. But what does this moment say for them? I don't like it that the only time they kiss is when they drunk. Come on, give me a kiss when they're sober. Right. Stop playing with us, please. Ooh, Bodkowi, if you don't say what you are saying, like stop playing with Pisang. Because Pisang said if Bodkowi follows him without the intention of loving him, Pisang will disappear for good. Maybe he won't even let Max know this time. Oh, Bodkowi memory of him telling the news reporter that him and Pramai split up. Oh wow, the reporters are basically saying that they heard a rumor saying the reason Bakowi and Pramai broke up was because Bakowi finally came out of the closet. Bakowi, for the love of God man, stop drinking liquor. This is your number one problem. That's love right here. Pisang and you had an argument and still happy to see you. Or it could be you, Bodkowi, who told people. No, that's the thing about being a celebrity, Bodkowi. Reporters will go to the length to get juicy story, even if it's your private life. This is why Pisang left. But Bodkowi is the one who keeps following Pisang. Oh, Pisang. Look, you think being a celebrity is hard? Try loving the celebrity. The lover gets it way worse, especially when that lover is not a celebrity. Bodkowi, how many people must suffer because of you? Oh, he slept there. Did p sign didn't come back? Are you kidding me? Isn't this a new number? Isn't this a new number, Bodkowi calling? Boy, you don't even look fine to be going on stage to sing any love song right now. Oh, Max was right. His Anne really does shake. But I thought Max canceled his show so he can get help. Oh my god! Pisang left! He left! Boy, just go back in the past and don't leave. But what good will that do? Will you go and kiss him again without any feelings attached? In my opinion, just spend more time with your father because in the end, you still won't make it in the future. So a rumor says the dandelion gets smaller. I'm used to the show so I can't tell but looking up close at it, it kinda is getting smaller. Is he gonna be at the same spot that P. Sang saw him? Okay, he really is at the same spot. At this point, P. Sang don't know what's going on, but Barkari cryingly knows. Are you gonna tell him? I'm from the future and everything is all messed up, blah blah blah. Oh, the father! Your daddy's still alive in the time. Huh? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? No, what? What are you talking about? Is his father not okay? What the hell? So even if he did the operation or not, the man still dies? That old man better be his father who reincarnated or at least a spirit or something. I feel like everyone have their own problems, but it's not entirely Balkowi's fault. It's just that Balkowi got involved in your lives and changed the whole outcome. At least he acknowledged what he is. Okay, I get what his mother is doing. Right now, being gay in Thailand is not very popular, but wherever his mother wants to move, accept it. Mother, the man peace and love is not in any other country. He is here in Thailand. Mother knows. Hold up now. What really is peace and's future? All we be seeing is Balkowi and how he changed everyone's future, but what was the original future? She has a bright future. 
My advice for Balkowe is leave her alone and tell her you don't like her that way so she can focus on herself and move on. Tell the girl, don't drag her further into a future you know will not work for both of you. Balkowe, you know where this is going. Say something. Stop leading this girl on, man. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Did Balkowe give Pisang the diary of all things future? He did! He did! Pisang, boy, what's written in that book will blow your mind. Every single drop, no crumbs. I like how he telling Pisang everything. Not even Max knows this. He read everything, but the question is, does he believe? Of course, I wouldn't believe either. That's a shocker story, but we don't know if she will after you go back again. Holy crap! It already started, so maybe it's true. You better believe now because you didn't tell nobody that part of the information. Basically, what Bako is saying is that if things go wrong with him and Pisang, then the future goes wrong. And looking at the logic, I see it. How are you going to set things right when every time you say you're going to set things right, everything goes wrong? No, that is not what this is about. It's about you and Badkowi. This is getting too much. You have Pisang who likes you, but because of Pramai, he is stepping back. And Pramai here is starting to be with you because Pisang rejected her. Maybe the argument will start early. That's not no normal happy face. Bakoi, reject her gently because you know your future with her is not great either path you take. The girl likes Bakoi so much she forgot her own family exhibition. Okay, girl called and told him she has to cancel. Got it. LGBTQIA? What is IA? Oh, Bakoi is there. I thought it would be P. Sang. I like that part of the information. That part is true. But what is the plus part in the LGBTQ? Max is always around. He's like the guardian angel. Max, at this point, being Pramai's boyfriend is not the plan anymore. Dang, this man speaks deep. See? See? You get good out of something. That's right. Love is love. Come on now. Speak up, Max. Speak the truth. Speak it. What? Oh, no. Battery died. Now we won't know what Pisang said. Luckily, he brought his charger. That's right. Fight. Fight. Oh, you better. You better. This would be so cool if when Bako we turned around and see people including Max ear the convo. Bakoi, just the words P Sang needs to hear so he can stay. Just those three words. I dash you. Oh for the love of God. That phone don't want Bako we speak, man. You just have to read between the lines, P Sang. You know, right? You don't have to hear it from Peace Sang, you know. Oh, he didn't go to the airport. Yay! Oh, I thought he was going to leave with his mother. You're what's wrong with him, Peace Sang. I want to slap Bakoe. When he thinks Peace Sang is leaving, he wanted to pour out his art. But now that Peace Sang is in front of him, he can't. You better that! Peace Sang was not prepared for this. How can you say no after all Bakui said, Pisang? Oh my god! Shut up! Wait, while you two having a moment, remember Bakui still not tell Pramai he doesn't like her? Or did he? Maybe we'll see at the end. Bakui is not paying for this. This place looks fancy. Bakui is definitely not paying for this. Yes! Please! You have got to be kidding me. On the way to meet Bakoi, Peace and Car decided to give problems. Holy shot! Holy shot! What the hell? This old man knows. 
it's Bakoe's spiritual father in a different person's body. It's got to be. Okay, guys, that is the end of my review on episode 8 of Be My Favorite. Stay tuned for my review on episode 9. And as always, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.